This is a quick tutorial on balloon frame construction. Uh, back in August with engine house training we had the opportunity to uh, work in a house where all the walls, interior walls, were open and this structure was a balloon frame building. So we're going to take a look at some of the characteristics that we talk about but very few get to see until the fire actually happens on uh, what balloon frame construction looks like. Okay, what we see here is an interior wall. This was between two rooms in the upper story and what you can see here is that the, the the studs go all the way up you can see how they're cut out for these uh, rafters to sit on top of <clears throat> but if there was you can see a piece where the uh, last room plath had been at one time how behind that wall it goes straight up into the attic space up here so you can see that once the wall covering none was on there there's still a good two and a two and a half inches and this is true dimensional lumber this is uh, not today's 2 by 6 or 2 by 4s these are really 2 inches by 4 inches or 2 inches by 6 inches. Uh, it's real old stuff. That space behind that wall, and this is an interior wall. These slats are on the other side of that wall, on the opposite side. And that creates that void space that goes all the way up into the attic. This is a look on an exterior wall from the inside. And you can see uh, we have the same thing. Here is a piece of the interior uh, lathing. Uh, at one point, this is the attic space up here. And these are your, your rafters. <clears throat> and you can see behind this is all open. So your wall covering would have been attached here. But everything behind this is open up into the attic. And you can see how that fire can run and chase. You can also see this building's pretty old, and it's got old wooden planks on the outside. It's covered by siding. You know, it's combustible. It's old. It's dry. It can certainly uh, precipitate a heavy fire growth from the bottom all the way up into the attic. This is a look down from the second floor down into the, the first floor, and that's a straight view uh, down behind the floor where these 2x4s are running, running up the wall. And this is a look down into the first floor and you can see it's kind of tough but you can see this object right here is actually uh, on the floor below. This is looking up into the attic space that we talked about. Um, here's that beam that's running across where, they're, where it's notched in and sitting on the 2x4s that run into the attic space. So all of this area here is wide open. And we're looking from the floor up into the attic on the second story. Again, you can see how easily that, that uh, can provide room for fire growth. There's nothing there to stop the fire. And this, once again, is looking down. It's a little tough. It's dark. But you can see the floor doesn't come all the way against the wall. There's that space. Uh, these are wood floor planks in this house. Uh, the wall covering would have gone right across here. So the floor would have gone to whatever wall covering would have put on there, drywall, plaster lath, uh, sheeting of some sort. But this remains open behind it. We can't see it. Fire is going to run from the basement all the way up into the attic space. And this is just a quick, you know, we, we talk a lot about balloon frame construction. We show you exterior of houses. This is a balloon frame. It runs from the basement to the attic, and we talk a lot about it. But very few, uh, in my experience, have actually seen the inside of a balloon frame house and how uh, the chases look and, and the dimensions um, and exactly be able to see the entire opening of all these structural characteristics. So uh, take it, use it however you like, show it to your departments, share it. Um, you know, it's a good opportunity to take a look on the inside of balloon frame construction. Uh, stay safe, have a great weekend, and uh, have a very happy Thanksgiving. Take care. Bye.